Hey guys and welcome again to the money game with AC. In this channel we talk about stocks, we also talk about money, how to make it, how to protect it, how to grow it, okay? In this video I want to go quickly over AMC stock and try to answer one question I think a lot of us have in mind, especially given the fact that we were expecting that to happen sooner rather than later. When would the short squeeze happen? When can we realistically expect AMC to squeeze? All right, before getting into that, I want to clear out one reality you know truth of the matter is amc is one of the highly manipulated stocks right now in the market and this is not something new i mean hedges and hedge funds manipulating the stock market or manipulating the company stocks is not something new it is a strategy people with deep pockets meaning the hedges whenever there is a situation that will you know allow them to push the price of a stock company to death they will definitely, you know, jump on that and do that. With the pandemic coming, retail sector was down because a lot of people who didn't shift online, you know, pretty much see saw them the, the, the sales closing to zero because nobody was allowed to go out because of the lockdown. So the hedges saw that, jumped on it, and pushed the price to death. That what happened to AMC to the point where they were actually this close to fire bankruptcy. Okay, now. It's not something new, guys. It may be sound new to you because you are new to the investing game or the stock market game, but it's not something new. This is how, you know, people tend to make money in the stock market. I mean, just look at the uh, what happened with Volkswagen. Look at what happened with GameStop. Look at what happened with, you know, fictions like The Wolf of Wall Street, okay, or Gordon Greg Gecko. This is, this is, this is, this is, what happens in the stock market, okay? So don't be shocked about it. And maybe we will file complaints to the SEC and everything, but I don't think it will really change something because what happened to um, the Robin Hooders? What happened to Weibo? What happened to all those brokerage accounts or brokerage firm who prevented us, who prevented us from buying AMC, GameStop, and all the other stonks? What happened to them? No one went to jail. No one paid a fine. No one did a single same thing about protecting the retailers, okay? So I don't think it will change the game because this is actually how the game is being played. So now that this is cleared out, let's go over when can we expect AMC to squeeze. Because AMC is highly manipulated, you know, we've seen that multiple plenty of times. We see that pretty much every single day, you know? So based on that, I do believe there is still a squeeze potential because with all the stimulus checks coming guys with people getting vaccinated and you know going back to theaters and then all the theaters being open and all the stimulus package you know to boost the economy to get back on track after this crazy year we had in 2020 i definitely see these as positive catalysts that will push the price upper now the question is will we ever see 20? I mean, will we ever see 100, 200, 1,000, 2,000, 10,000? Like I saw on social media. That will be like insane, right? But let's be realistic. And I don't think we'll ever get to 10,000. It's not Bitcoin. <laughs> That's what I think though. But if you think different, let me know guys in the comment section. Now, seriously guys, let's look at what happened with GameStop. Why GameStop? Because GameStop and AMC, let me pull AMC here on the chart. GameStop and AMC tend to trade following the same pattern. It may not seem like it right here, but guys, depending on what's happening into the market for both the companies, I definitely see these two being correlated. And because they are correlated, let's look at how much time it took for GameStop to, to squeeze, okay? Going back to the five-year chart, in 2016, GameStop was trading around $28. Pandemic 2018, $12, $15, $16, okay? 2019, before the pandemic, it was down to $4 at a point and then came all the way back to $6 before 2020. Now, 2020 came, it came all the way down to $280 and then <sighs> recovered a little bit to hit $13, you know, in October 2020. Now, if you look at the six-month chart, six months short we are here all right ten dollars it kept going up to pretty much eighteen dollars in january and then boom we had this kind of a sneak peek you know like forty dollars 
before the, the the real squeeze actually happened, like the real squeeze happened. And keep in mind that intraday, at the point GameStop hit $500. I mean intraday, so before the actual closing bell, okay? Like AMC at the point intraday hit $25. Now, if AMC and GameStop are correlated, and it took five to six months for GameStop to squeeze, you know, if we go back to AMC, um, six months short right here, um, no, let, let, let me go back to this and pull up AMC. So the sneak peek I'm talking about here, to, which, you know, led GameStop to trade at 40, right here, it seems like it's the same one that led AMC to 20. Now, to me, with all the manipulation going around and what I mentioned earlier in terms of catalyst, I definitely see AMC being set up for a short squeeze. So no question about that for me personally, but you might think different, okay? So based on that, I do believe that we are heading towards a squeeze because let's think about it for a second, guys. Let's just imagine games, I mean, Amazon or Netflix or Disney confirms the rumor around buying out AMC. This thing will squeeze to the moon. This thing will squeeze to the moon. I'm talking about maybe 200 like overnight, guys, or maybe 50 or 100. I don't know, but it will be insane, right? But that is a big if because, I mean, even though it's a big if, nobody knows. Nobody knows what's being talked behind the scenes. Nobody knows if it's true, it will happen, what, the, what, what, what is the, you know, the possibility or the probability of this happening. But I just want to use that as an example to tell you guys that it might happen next week. It might happen in two weeks. It might happen next month. You don't know, but that is definitely something that will make this thing squeeze like crazy. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that AMC and GameStop I mean, AMC will, will, will wait five to six months to um, squeeze like GameStop. I will expect it to because GameStop took the same time. But there are a lot more people buying and holding AMC than there is in GameStop trade. So to me, the short squeeze might happen before that if there is short squeeze to happen. Okay. Now, going back to um, 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 the reason why I think... Depending on when you think the GameStop or the short squeeze will happen on AMC in the next five to six months, I think it will set you up for your next spring to the stock market. Because if you really think that this is something that will squeeze whenever, it doesn't matter whether it's five months, six months or next month, because the truth of the matter is no one can really tell you when AMC price will be next week, next month or next Monday, just because no one has power to sell you the future. I don't care what tools you're using. I don't care how, you know, huge your experience is. I don't care whether you're a trader on Wall Street or whether you're trading since um, 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 two weeks. You just can't, okay? You just can't. You don't have a crystal ball. Otherwise, we'll all be billionaires. Yeah, that's true. We'll all be billionaires. Now, all we're trying to do is to take what happened in the past, compile it with, you know, studying a chart, looking at the trend, and try to predict the future. But all of that is based on technical analysis, not all of that. Some of that is based on technical analysis and it doesn't work 100% of the time. And whenever it does, it works only 50% of the time. And then all the other prediction, I mean, at the end of the day, the stock market will also will only do what the stock market does better, which is doing whatever. And sometimes that whatever means nothing you're expecting, okay? So if you are someone that really expects AMC to squeeze, in the next month or the next six months and you want to go all in because you really want to, you know, like you only live once, I mean, great for you guys, do you. But if you are someone who think they may also show school, but you want to also learn how to play in the stock market, how to make money, how to grow your wealth, you know, then you can consider other plays. You can consider other stocks, other opportunities because there are plenty out there today that will give you a ton of money if you will just play the game by the rules. All right, airlines, transportation, retail, energy, financial, with the whole volatility and bond yields happening. So definitely, guys, this is something we all have to play because we are in a different financial situation. We have different um, um, goals. We have different um, interests and, 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 and households. So all of that will be different for all of us. But again, guys, to, to end this, the answer is no one knows. 
no one knows but the good indication we have is five to six months and if you look at the five to six months we are looking at uh, what September so summer and by summer some of the tools out there are predicting AMC to be at either 900 or either 600 by May this is something that I've seen I've heard but again guys this is based on technical analysis and maths how plausible how you know probable is it to really happen no one simply knows okay just keep that in mind as you play along as you go along week after week all right guys thank you for watching and let me know what you think about when this thing can squeeze and if it does what is your price prediction thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one until then